it's awesome today. I have two more Senior Hall of Famers here this week, Jack Aronson and Steve Emley. Guys, welcome to Truman Stadium. And it's interesting, Brett talked about how there's three parts of the swing. The hips lead initially, then everybody has a rotation and a snap. You know, sync together, and the timing is right. At the very end, you get the burst of the snap. For you guys, it's interesting, it breaks down at the beginning. Jack, start off with you talking about connection. Uh, I have a tendency to step out too hard and, and, and way too much effort on the step, and then I tend to roll my upper body. Um, Steve and you both are great about keeping it back. If I can keep it back and get in the launch position, um, you were starting I'm with the, the ball a lot You were starting with the knob facing down, so we have you preset with a knob facing up, and that preload position gives you better. And then like Steve mentioned to you, if you can slow down that tempo, oh. easy explode. Steve, lots of times hitters say you're over swinging, but they aren't actually talking about the swing itself. That should be at 100%. They're talking about the pre-swing. Absolutely. Bob. That's a, we have a tendency, and I, I have a tendency to do the same thing, to go back short so I don't have a good connection. And then I'm just swinging as hard as I can. And with, what happens with that is, is you may hit one out of 20 balls well, but the other 19 are not hit very well. So you want to slow down that pre-swing and then explode on that 90 to 100% on the final swing and when you snap your wrist. And that's that's what people are talking about when they say over swinging. You're swinging too much back here. In the terms of boom, Jack, you were actually saying that ball on the nice, easy 5% pre-swing and then boom. Helps with the timing, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh. It makes me go a little slower on the ba, and then I try to go boom, just like it, like it sounds. I had that big tendency to take a defensive swing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, I, would, I would stay here and only go about this far, but I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good size, so I get some good liners, right center, left center. But I have a tendency to start doing that all the time, and it's harder to hit a home run. So when you talk about overswinging, we're talking about too much on the pre-swing. What percentage do you think you do on your pre-swing, and how much on the swing itself? When I'm going back to my connection point, I'll probably be, and when I get started, I'm probably a, a 5 to 10 percent. And at that point in time, when the rotation, the rotation goes first, and then you go in, and at that point in time, you explode, and I probably go to anywhere from 90 to 100 percent. Jack, the two drills I think that are going to work well for both you and Steve, one is using the bungee cord and the slide tube just to walk up until you feel that start to tighten the lat, and you can, you know, you can go ahead and each time you step, it pulls the hands away from the hips. That's a pretty good way to do it. That sawed off bat, a guy can step on deck and just pull the hands back, which is nice. But for you, Jack, changing that starting position from here and just preloading makes a big difference too. Yeah, I, I go way too soon, too hard. I roll, I actually roll. That's why I hit a lot, a lot of line drives. And, but if I can stay back here, I'm big enough, I can come out one time. I don't have to double bump them. When I load, it seems like I pull my hands in close to my body. When I stay back, it's just, it's one, it's, it's fluid. It's just fluid for me. Oh, God. My name is Jerry Moore. I'm 70 years old. Um, I'm 200 pounds. I'm from uh, Hollis, New Hampshire. I play in a couple of senior leagues back home. And I'm just trying to hit a little more consistency and a little more power, and that's why I'm here. But what I'm looking for is consistency more than anything else, because sometimes I feel real good, sometimes I feel real bad, and I can't put my finger on it. Watching the swing makeover, do you have any, any perception of what your flaws might be? Uh, I think I might be overreaching. I think it might, might be more on my front foot when I'm swinging. Do you have any physical limitations today? That No, I don't. All right. Just my age. Just your age. Well, you're a good-looking guy yet, so that's good. <laughs> you want to angle back and kind of swing up swing through up the ball, yeah. as opposed to sometimes you're swinging down on it or, yeah. or swinging too level, um, or, or actually down. And then the other thing is you, you do, your back hip does open and it rotates, but you don't swing in an arc we call it, you don't swing rotationally enough. You know, you know, it really has a level to, to slightly downswing. And all of a sudden, I come here like this, and I'm swinging level. Well, if I make my point of contact right here perfect, and I have the timing perfect, I'm either gonna beat it into the ground, or if I catch it absolutely perfect, maybe it'll be at one of those, you know, rising, rising fly balls. But if I'm a little bit early, I come, I'm swinging on this plane here. If I'm a little bit early, look where I'm making contact with that. Yeah. See how it, it's down? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's literally right here, like I'm beating something into the ground. And look, at, and look if I'm a little bit late. If I'm coming through, even just level, if I'm a little bit late, look where I'm hitting it. That's going to be a foul ball, or it's going to be beaten right into the ground. Or you'll cleave under it and pop it or up. Or you'll cleave under it and it'll pop it up to the infield. I mean, that's why we teach this, this slightly up, you know, swinging in an arc because it just it's so consistent and it, there's a lot of leeway for just uh, you know human air let's just rotate and go work on the tempo to easy explode yep. 
Don't lift it up, put it down, just glide, let push off the back foot. There you go. Now let's work on the temp a little bit. Easy, stretch it out. Easy, explode. Say ba boom. Ba boom. Good. You know, a lot of them will stand, you know, you see guys standing here like this. Well, if they're a good hitter, they bring the hands back and they get into this position before they swing. But that's why the drill is so good because you'll get you'll get used to just getting to this position here. And then you can swing as fast and as hard as you want, and you'll just trust that it's going to be on that up angle. And that arm out as, you know, as much as you can comfortably in the starting position. And then all you have to do is just pull them straight back, just na or just do what you feel like you know naturally straight back. And then you're in that position, you know. And you know, see, look up, look up at the pitch coming in, the angle of the pitch coming in. There yeah. you go. It's really a big adjustment, but that, that alone makes a big difference. It's you can use the slide tube and the with the bungee cord on the end, and the guide rope works out as a very good connection trainer. Yeah. Uh, boom. Excellent. A couple more times. Boom. Yeah, that was really good. Ba boom. Ba boom. Get your hands a little bit lower. Start with hands a little bit lower. Start connected back. Okay. Swing in that arm. Defend your swing in that arm. That's better. How much, Jerry, do you have to exaggerate just to get it up to the level of the rope? A lot, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Feel your lat tight on it. And then, you go, and then just go like this. Straight down. Snap. Snap. And do this straight down on a down plane. I pull it straight back and then watch my hand motion. It's exactly the same. It's the exact same feel, exact same move. It's just on a different plane. Instead of down, it's like this. Right. See the difference? Yep. Really move up about four inches closer okay. to the front, and you make a point of contact not so far in front of you, but back a little ways. See if you can hit this to center field. See, you don't you don't change your swing at all. All you change is the point of contact. All right, Jerry, now let's say there's a big wind blowing in, okay? We can't hit any fly balls, okay? Same swing, same exact mechanics, aim at the top half of the ball. Okay? This is the middle of the ball, this is the top half that we're calling it, and then this is the bottom half. So you don't want to, if you, you know, if you're hitting balls here, you're popping it up. If you're hitting balls here, you're beating it into the ground. You're so asking an awful lot for a guy with cataracts, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> And you're not going to actually, you know, see the spot on the ball, but it's more of just a I understand. It's just changing your angle, the angle a little bit. Here's a good top spin line drive to center. What pitch do we absolutely not want to swing at? Anything below the waist. Okay, look where you're standing. Look how much you give the pitcher the opportunity to hit the front of the plate. Put your right foot right at the front of the plate. You'll take away all the low pitches you're going to try to throw and hit. You're a fairly tall guy. Yep. It's 6-1, so stand right in the front of the plate there. Does that make sense? Sure. Swing in an arc and trust you'll hit it. Good ball. Nice ball. Yeah, good. Man, they're not know where to play you. <laughs> nice. Showing nice. off now. Now you're picking on the poor fielders. The biggest, you know, the difference or your biggest focus that we that we changed for you today. Uh, two things. It really was my focus, and it's what you taught me yesterday. The starting position. You got to get your. You got to get your. So hands. getting in the connected you position. Get in the, and rotation. Swing through. And the arc. Swinging in the arc. Swinging in the arc. Rotation. And then also at your game focus was was kind of, you know, once you, you thought of getting to the starting position, it was kind of easy, so easy to get to the connected, connected position and then explode was, was everything else, explode in the art. Yep. It's, been a, it's been a pleasure to work with you. Another nine years, I hope I'm a third the man you are. <laughs> great working with you, great, great you working with you. Thank great you much, job. it was well worth it. Remember, stay balanced in life, but end loaded on the field. Space is running out for the December 2nd through 5th Softball Magazine first ever senior training camp in Cocoa Beach, Florida. 
I'll be there with our swing makeover expertise for your use, along with many other great instructors. Three days of first class fun instruction and a free bat and bag combo prize package for every senior camper. Contact Gene and his staff at Softball Magazine for one of the remaining spots. Certainly it's going to be a game changing experience.